Hey, what's up? Welcome to Neon Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, we'll be creating some kinetic typography with the polar coordinates. So let's get started. Control N for a new comp. Let's just name this polar type. I'm using a 1080 by 1920 comp size, suitable for vertical video. This is our polar type. Gonna create another comp. This is 1920 by 1080. So this is a normal HD comp size. Let's just name this as our text tile and then gonna duplicate this and create one that is called our text source so let's open all this up so under our text source gonna press ctrl k open up my comp settings and then 1920 divided by 4 and height 1080 divided by 10 so I have 480 by 1080. Looking at this rectangle, you can decide if this is big enough or wide enough. Can continue to do 240 divided, uh, 240 by 108 here. And maybe this is the right size for you, depending on your letters and your amount of text with things like that. So you can change accordingly. Okay, I just want to stop here and correct myself about the text source comp width and height. So 1920 by 1080, that's the HD comp size. For best results, I recommend that you divide by 2, divide by 4, or divide by 8. So 240, same thing for uh, 1080. You can divide by 2, divide by 4, or divide by 8. So 240 by 135 gives you a rectangle like that. You can go for something like 960 for if you have a very long text. If you want to adjust it, let's do 1080 divided by 4. So 960 by 270, that works also. So the reason why you want to divide by 2, 4, or 8 is so that later when you do the motion tile, it's easier to loop the motion tile. So for example, let me go to my text tool. This is my text. Let's just, let's just say I'm doing round. Let's go to my text, uh, text tile comp and then bring in my text source here. I'm going to get my round in the middle here. I'm going to look for motion tile here. Oh, it's already here. Motion tile is already here. And let's bring in motion tile width and height over here. Okay, so output width. Remember that this is uh, 240. So 240, I have to multiply by 248. I'm not wrong. So 800. And then this one is 10. So it fits. So it fits just in right. 1920 divided by 8 and then 1080 divided by 10. So that's how I get this uh these numbers here like that. So if I change it around, just remember that to fit it exactly, I have to change the numbers. Okay, so let's say I change this text to round and and I see that my, my text is uh, a little bit wider and I want it to be more narrow. 1080 divided by let's do 4. Okay, so let's make the width wider. 1920 divided by 4 is 480. Can make this bigger and then it will have less uh, spacing or padding around this. And then the size adjusts accordingly. I think the, the thing to focus on right now is whether the spacing around is enough for, for what you want and the text fits nicely to the box. So let's go to our polar type, bring in our text tile here. We're gonna bring in our polar co coordinates, change rec to polar. Then bring up the percentage here and you can get this so there's no animation yet uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our motion tile here and we're gonna animate this so we're gonna animate tile center i'm gonna create a now object which is my controller my controller is here i'm gonna lock it here so that it stays on later good expressions control slider control and then i'm gonna create two sliders, two controllers here, motion tile x, duplicate control d, enter, and then motion tile y, so I have two controllers here, and I'm going to open up my effects. So I'm going to create an expression for this tile center, so this is my tile center. I'm going to set it in a way that it controls the, the speed. Okay, so for this expression, we'll be creating two variables, variable x, variable y, and then x, comma, y. 
So variable x will be controlling the, the movement on the x and then y will be for the one on the y. So we'll be using the comp width and the comp height time times this comp dot x is for width. So width divided by this comp dot duration and then we're going to multiply it by a speed. So this controllers is for the speed. So same thing for the one on top. Just gonna copy and paste this and change this from width to height. And then X will be changed to Y. Okay, so, so might as well change this to speed instead. Okay, so what is happening is that this comp width divided by the duration, which is 10 for 10 seconds. So there is 192, 192. So at one second, it moves 192 pixels that will make it equal throughout the 10 seconds. So if I multiply it by two, it's double the speed and it should still be relative and looping. The same thing for uh, motion Y, it's just changes to zero. So for Y is also the same thing. My com height divided by the com duration, 10 seconds. So at one second, I should be able to be Y at 108 pixels down and then at the at the back here you should loop seamlessly so you can push this up and down and then it goes faster or slower so let's just do one and maybe negative one and we have it diagonally across okay i just want to add one more thing if you follow the way that i mentioned earlier to get your size of your text source comp to have it divide by two four or eight either of those you can further divide the speed by two so that you have more room to play with so you can either do this whatever your speed is divide by two or another option is to come delete this come down to your final output here x comma y and then after the square brackets you divide by two so whatever speed that we had earlier it's uh, slowing it down by half so you have more room to play with okay so this is what we have for our motion tell us unlock this controller and then you can go to uh, play around with our other options if you want for example you can create a face here 180 face changes to horizontal face shift and then you have this kind of like a brick effect here and great thing is that it should look seamlessly seem, seem, seamlessly all right so the same thing over here and this this uh animation affects our main animation here and so you can be saying that oh this is a very nice mandela like effect okay then a motion tab you want it to to be uh what's it called repeated throughout the whole comp and then we're going to bring this up to 200 and we have to move the motion tile before our polar co coordinates here and there you go so before and after and if you want to have more repetitions you can affect the output with okay so this is one one example of the polar type the polar type here all right what, what we're going to do next is to create this to to have a polar coordinate in the other way so is the the method is still the same let me just label this polar type zero one let me just rename this as all well as a zero one and then gonna duplicate polar type two open it up and then it will stay here and i'm gonna duplicate my tau two open it up this will run vertically and what i'm gonna do is to change my text source as well okay so let's duplicate text source two open it up and 1920 by 1080 we're gonna divide it for a vertical format so maybe you do so let's do 192 by 540. Rotate it 90 degrees, put it right in the center, make it slightly bigger. Let's go back to Textile 2, click on Text Source 1, bring in Text Source 2 from the project and hold alternate, click and release it over here. And it should be able to, uh, what's it called, replace it. So Text Source 2, it is 192 by 540. So oh, this should be 10, 1000, upper height would be 200, 1000 by 200 width and height and we should be able to get something that loops and we can choose to have this uh, horizontal face shift or not. Go back to, let's go to polar type 2 and replace textile 1 with textile 2 the same way, alternate click and then let's let release it over here and then we can adjust 
the width and height, and we have a looping uh, circular effect kinetic typography thing. Okay, bonus round. How do we make the lines of text scroll in two different directions or two different speeds? Let's get into the first uh, textile comp. We're gonna be using face. We're gonna be using face as the the main driver of this animation. So you can see what it's doing. You're gonna animate this face round and round across like this to create that second animation. So make sure horizontal face shift is turned on. And let's go to controller. We're gonna create two more sliders. Expressions slider control. I'm gonna put face rotation control d second one i'm gonna name it as face speed okay i'm gonna lock my effects controller panel here come into my text source open up your motion tile and alternate alternate click on my face so there's two parts to this the first one is the face rotation so this is the initial rotation that you will start with let's pick with face rotation plus enter and we'll go to the second line so that is uh, easier to read and a bit more organized so the second one will be the rotation we're gonna use time times the uh, so this is the speed so because face is based on a full circle we're gonna use 360 divide by this com dot duration so when i use this if i scale my com duration next time this expression will automatically adjust and still work so next we'll do times and then the phase speed so let's pick rip here to phase speed and then we can enter this so by the way i'm using the enter on my number pad and you can see that nothing has happened yet that's because both of these are set to zero so let's set this back to 180 180 means that the, the this is offset by half so that's why it's in the, right in the center of this these two and phase speed can use one so to really see the full effect of this you can change the motion tile x speed uh, a good starting point would be one and negative one see what works for you for for your final the the final comp here we'll also do the same for the this tile two comp can quickly do it by copy and pasting our two controllers here our two sliders here Control C, unlock this thing here, come to our second one here, Control V, paste these two, come back to tile 1, come to face, right click, copy expressions only, come back to tile 2, click on face, Control V, I uh, should be able to paste it, and then you'll be able to get something like this. So play around with it and experiment. In the next one, uh, I show you another way to create this uh, also a circular circular effect, but with a cylinder. Maybe you already can tell what it is, but can take a look at the next video. Hey, thanks for watching this tutorial. I would like to share this beta version of a typography template that I just created. I'm releasing it for a limited time and I intend to sell it after this beta test. So a few important points. One is that I recommend you to use After Effects CC 2020 or version 17. But I also downsaved it up to 2018, even though I don't think it will work uh, as well. Uh, that's because of the a lot of these master properties things that I used in the template. Two is that it's made for vertical video which means it's mobile friendly and is suitable for social media three is that it uses a lot of master properties and controllers which may be too many so i would like to know what you think and what the experience of this template is for you you can download it in the link below but i also recommend that you watch this walkthrough video so thank you and let me know your feedback